I'm still I'm still playing Animal Crossing, just off stream usually, just because I'm not playing it for like a super long time every day now. Canberra has not left, but uh, something funny happened to me today when I started up the game related to Canberra. Let me get a link. Okay, yeah, that that's the first thing I saw when I opened the game today. Yeah, it was pretty great. Any games I'm looking forward to play that are coming out later this year? Not really, actually. Right, like right now. The only game I'm like looking forward to is Breath of the Wild 2, which might come out this year. I don't know. I, I guess Metroid Prime 4 too, but I I partially don't believe that Metroid Prime 4 exists. It's uh, it, it's a myth. I played this a ton casually before I started speedrunning. Like this was my favorite game before I started speedrunning too. Like I think between when I first played this and when I got into speedrunning it was like six years, seven years, six years. Five years. Five to seven years. So like this was my favorite game for like five to seven years before I even started speedrunning it. Your favorite game too? Nice. Good taste. What do I even do with that game for that long from not doing vision speedrunning? I mean I didn't actually play it like for six years all the time before speedrunning. Um, but I did I did try to get 100% in it which took me a very long time. I actually didn't get 100% in my first playthrough. I actually was super close to 100%. I think I was like I was like three gold sculptulas, two heart pieces, and one big Poe, I think, away from 100%. And then uh, my files got deleted because of accidental code cartridge. So yeah, like I spent a very long time just trying to get 100% and didn't, and then my file got erased. And then I also just like did multiple playthroughs, like I just played through the game multiple times. I even remember like, I actually sort of remember routing like uh, subsequent playthroughs. Like I, I actually remembered um, one of the first glitches I learned was entering Bomb of the Well early. And I remember like doing a, just doing a second playthrough. And I'm like, oh, if I, I can go to Bomb of the Well when I first go to Kakariko and then get Lens of Truth early. But yeah, just like I played through it a lot. And also Master Quest. I, I got Master Quest when I was a kid. So I played through Master Quest and played through uh, the original on Master Quest on the Master Quest disc. And I think the Collector's Edition disc too, because I got I got Collector's Edition and Master Quest, so I think I probably played through it on all three of those. So yeah, I mean, I, I played through the game quite a few times, even before speedrunning. Uh, the method for Bomb the Well early was Cucko Dive, the super duper old one. How'd I learn those glitches? I'm pretty sure early YouTube. I'm pretty sure, like, when I first found out about YouTube, the first thing I did was, like, look up Zelda glitches or something. Or it might have been GameFAQs, yeah. But I did go to GameFAQs early on too. Oh, and you know what? Uh, I also went to Cheap Planet. Does anyone remember Cheap Planet? Maybe it was on Cheap Planet actually. Now, for for me, it was definitely before SDA threads. Cheap Planet <laughs> boomers. Oh yeah, Jay the Ham. I also I also looked up glitches on Jay the Ham. Did did Jay the Ham have early bomb of the well? That's actually okay. Now that I think about it, if if Jay the Ham had it, then I think that's actually where I learned about it. Dude, you know what? I, I need to go, I'm gonna look, go look up Jay the Ham on Wayback Machine. God, I probably looked this up in like 2004 or something. Oh no, the earliest archive is 2005. I hope this is uh, early enough. Okay, I found Zelda Chaos. Yeah, I, I, Zelda Chaos was definitely the first place I learned about OOT glitches. I like how they have like sections for all the glitches, like they have a crooked cartridge section, a swordless link section, a, a master glitches section, which is just like opponent glitches, which is, I don't know why they called it master glitch. Seam walking, bottle adventure, and then there's one section that's just miscellaneous glitches, which is like literally all the other good glitches. I'm traveling IRL. No, dude, it, it doesn't work. The miscellaneous glitches page is broken, no. Dude, the description for the Swordless Link page is Find out all about the most famous glitch in Ocarina of Time, learn how to use items on Epona, and all other oddities that stem off this. Swordless Link used to be the most famous glitch in Ocarina of Time. Yet a dream I streamed with Cam. Nice dream. This is all before you started glitch hunting? Yeah, I think this was like before even a lot of the other SDA guys, aside from like literally TSA and Kazooie or something. Yeah, I think I think nowadays either ISG or maybe wrong warping is the most famous glitch. Okay, well anyway, let's get back to work. No, his is definitely not the most famous. 
We're talking about like well known even to people not like people that don't follow speedrunning regularly. Like even if you don't follow speedrunning regularly, you've probably heard of OOT Wrong Wolf or something. You've probably seen some Did You Know Gaming video about warping from Deku Tree to Ganon's Castle. Dot Skip is probably up there, but I don't quite think that Dot Skip ever, rece ever received like the same kind of mainstream uh, notoriety that Wrong Warp did. Favorite glitch that isn't used in speedruns? Uh, I guess lifting the archery guy. It used to be Ass Chest, and then Ass Chest got used in speedruns. And now it's not in speedruns anymore, but I think it got its chance, so I, I don't think I can go back and use that as the answer anymore. So I guess lifting the archery guy. Okay, so let me show you guys. So King Dodongo works fine. It's the baby Dodongo. Or not baby Dodongos, but the regular Dodongos. Yeah, you could use different setups in Randomizer, but no one is going to want to look for setups for SRM in Randomizer. Like, setups take a crazy amount of work to find in regular OOT and yeah I'll, I'll try this a few times because sometimes it doesn't crash and the not crashing version is more interesting but yeah SRM setups take such a huge amount of work no one is going to look for an SRM setup for rando when you're not even supposed to do SRM in rando in the first place <laughs> No. Oh. Come on. Really? That was a quick one. And I can't get this to work. There we go. Okay. So now this is interesting. See? This guy will not explode. And let me see if this guy will act properly. Was that, did that have hitbox? Okay. But you can see the fire is like a little bit different, doesn't have the full animation. So essentially right now, I wonder if I can visualize this. Does this work properly? Yeah, okay. So you see that big... So this is supposed to be separated into like a bunch of smaller chunks. You see how that big red line is like not a bunch of small chunks, but just like one gigantic chunk? That's part of the issue here. Yes, the heap is on fire, precisely. So like now when other stuff tries to load, it's not going to load. Uh, I guess this room partially loads. I think the Lizzlefos aren't here, but if I like go up here, then um, this door and loading the safe state. <laughs> Uh, removed this stuff. Okay. So safe states aren't stable with this either. Rip. Oh no. I can't get out. I'm trapped. Even out here you can see most stuff is not loaded. Is it all stuff? Is there anything loaded at all? I don't think so. Yeah, it's kind of a funny miss. Like, it's kind of funny that bomb chews of all things do this like Dodongo's dislike smoke is like you know that thing from Zelda 1 like you're supposed to oh, blow them up and then this happens what happens exactly you feed a bomb chew to a Dodongo and it breaks the heap like that I should actually I want to do that again with the heap visualization up while I do it just to like see exactly what the heap looks like when it happens Okay, see the heap? Nice and... Nice and small. Nice and tidy. <laughs> Tasty heap. Just eats the whole heap. Let me do that one more time, hoping it doesn't crash. Heap is just, uh... All, all of the, uh, like, actors loaded. So stuff like enemies, torches... Like, all the, all the stuff that's loaded that's not walls and floors. Those are parts of the heap, so all those little lines you can see that are like different colors, those are all separate things that are loaded, like some stuff is Dodongos and some stuff is torches and some stuff is uh, the fire effects. And they're all like broken up into different chunks and they're not like one continuous line, they're kind of chunks that can be spread out um, and their exact placement can vary based on where things were loaded before, like 
uh, when you go from one room to another room, some stuff has to be unloaded, which can change where things will load in the next room. So there has to be like available space in order to load stuff. And so when this glitch happens, there is no space. Yeah, that bar is showing how much memory it takes up. Okay, it, it crashes so often. I'm just gonna move on. No, King Dodongo works fine. In fact, uh, feeding King Dodongo bomb shoes is actually a strategy for low percent without bombs or like anytime you have bomb shoes but not bombs. I guess I can show that real quick. SRM stuff in general can do similar things. Like SRM can kind of break the heat also. But yeah, feeding King Dodongo a bomb chew works perfectly fine. You just have to hold it and then as long as you're holding it and you touch his mouth, then it works. Typically done with a backflip. Although it's actually kind of precise with a backflip. But you can also do it like this. You can also do a ground jump into his mouth. Which is super cool. Okay, actually back to work. Come on. Dude, what are you doing? Last time I played vanilla OT, last time I did a speed run, which I guess was when I was doing the Master Quest slash GameCube any percent runs. Which, by the way, there actually was a faster heap setup eventually found that I never got around to doing. Although I don't think it was like a huge amount faster. Not fast enough to make it faster for any percent. Is there a way to donate besides subscribing? Oh uh, yeah, I have a donate. Oh, you know what? I I never updated the donate thing, did I? I um during the the CLG charity thing last week, I changed it to the charity link, and I don't think I changed it back, did I? Okay, whatever. Well, when Twitch works, uh, there is supposed to be a donate link below the stream. Just post my address so you can send cash. Yeah, just mail me your money. Do I accept jars of mayonnaise for donations? No, but I appreciate the thought. Do I accept turnips? You know what, maybe. I think it's how most indoor areas work. I don't want to say all, but most at least. Oh, you know what's a really cool area? Let me show you a really cool one. Okay, so it looks pretty standard, you know. It's kind of got that same effect as the other the other ones, but you know, nothing else too special about it, right? Until you start looking over here. Oops. I took out a long shot as child. Okay, back to work. Yeah, it's like a motherboard. Uh, I don't know where the face pin is. Okay, there. You just have to trust me. If anyone knows where the face pin is, link it. Uh, there is there is a face pin with all the details on why it crashes. Okay, there's the face pin. I know, dude. I I always am looking for old face pins that I remember seeing and not saving them and then can't find them. Maybe if they were archived in a better place, maybe if we had better documentation than paste bin. If only we had a site where we could like write up stuff and post it on a website for permanent archiving. If only we had a website that could archive lots of Zelda speedrunning in info. Notepad. Yeah, let's use notepad instead of paste bin. Archive everything on MySpace. Yeah. Writing straight into paste is extremely weird jam. Okay, yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess I guess most of us do write it in notepad and paste it in paste bin. I hope, hope you guys all do that right. You write it in notepad and paste it in paste bin. No, speed frog would not be used anymore. SRM for eye drops is way too powerful. I can't wait for someone to forget the bomb bag here. I'm sure there's gonna be someone doing ones of this that forgets the bomb bag. And it's probably gonna be me. Uh. <laughs> See? Is rolling ever really faster than running? Yes. Running, walking straight forward just like this is actually very slow. Rolling is much faster. Yeah, just making it challenging. I just made it so I couldn't miss. Dampe is actually going to be before fishing in this. Fishing is actually going to be after Dampe. I kind of I think it's kind of bad. It it really suck 
Dude, after you're done with Dampe, you're not done with the RNG. Still have fishing left after Dampe now. Well, assuming this is going to be the route. No. Why didn't it hit? Oh my god. The stretch. I've never seen that. Hold on. I need to see that again. Okay, I'm gonna not kill him. I wanna see what this looks like. Okay, here we go. Sick. No, this is not early Dampe. This is Child 2 skip. I mean, technically Dampe's earlier. About 20 minutes earlier. No, no early bow. All of Adult 1 is the same, except uh, no Goron Tunic. Uh, 